Good morning and welcome back to another video from Menlip Cycling. Last month I made my last financial payment towards the bike that I'm riding now, my Trekamonda ALR5. So it only makes sense to start a new financial plan and get a new bike, right? Right? So today I'm heading to the Trek Bicycle Store in Bath because I've got my eye on a particular bike and I just want to go and check it out. You might notice there's some droplets in my glasses and it's raining. I haven't got a jacket, so fingers crossed it holds off and I don't get too wet today. Anyway, I hope you enjoy. As I make my way up the climb out of Dinda, so at this point I should probably say the chances of me getting lost today are high. Garmin, the makers of cycle computers, smartwatches, GPS devices, their whole system went down on Thursday. So I planned the route a while ago, but I've got absolutely no way of getting it onto my GPS device. I know where I am at the moment, because this is where we headed on Sunday when we went to Nunny. But there's a 25 kilometer segment from here to the bike path going into Bath, where I have no clue where I am. So I think I'm gonna be stopping and looking at my phone a lot or trusting my sense of direction, so anything could happen. Just another adventure, isn't it? I've just come through Gurney Slade and Vinegar. God, we got some weird names here in Somerset. I've gone past the quarry. I can safely say I've overdressed today. Drastically overdressed. No need for a gilet, long sleeves, and a base layer. Wearing the gilet for safety more than anything. Nice bright colour. But didn't need the long sleeves. And now we're climbing. Just 15% to get us going this morning. Darren, you're not going to believe it. The road is still closed coming into Midsummer Norton. I wonder what state the road is in this time. We managed to get through last time. It wasn't the greatest of surfaces, so we'll see. Disaster. One of the workers stopped me and he's turned me around. He said the footpath's closed, so gonna have to find another way. Absolutely flying along now. You might recognize this path from when Darren and I came and did the two tunnels ride. If you haven't seen that vlog, go back and have a look for it. It's a good one. I should be able to follow this all the way into Bath now. No need to worry about navigation now.
you join me after a calamity of errors. Just coming up that steep hill there and I dropped my chain. So it's not all sunshine and rainbows on the vlog. Bad things do happen to us. And also, I've just checked the route and I've realised I'm massively off course. I'm not even sure how that happened, but we're heading into Falkland. I really shouldn't be in Falkland. Should be heading towards Wellow. So I'm gonna have to head up to the main road and then take a left at some point and come back on the come back on the route. Oh well. Just like that, we're back on the trail. Give me a chance to fly the drone, catch my breath, because I really did go the wrong way. That was a big climb, but a lovely descent back into Wellow, which does sound like an Adele track, doesn't it? Wellow. been lucky enough to go through those tunnels twice now and it just blows my mind what a piece of engineering if you haven't done it you've got to come and do it two tunnels near Bath it's just fantastic I've just pulled up to the Trek store now in Bath and as of the 24th of July the government have said you need to wear a mask in indoor spaces, everything apart from pubs and restaurants. So I've got my jazzy mask. Big shout out to my mum for making these. There seems to be a bit of a stigma with wearing masks, but it keeps me safe and others safe. So it's a win-win. Here we go. You join me back on the road. Check out that view. I did pick up a sandwich as I headed out of town and I'm now trudging back up the hills towards the Mendips. But it was so good to head to the bike shop and see the bikes in person rather than flicking through articles online when all you can see are photos and specifications. But there is good news and bad news. The bad news, predictably, I'm not gonna get a bike in my size until around November. But the good news is I know exactly which frame I want. I've fallen in love, it's a Checkpoint ALR. But unfortunately, I'm going to have to wait. It's going to be worth the wait, right? I'm off the Wiggly Lanes now and back onto some better roads. I did accidentally pass through Timsbury, wasn't meant to, but shout out to Timsbury Cycle Club. They always interact with us on Instagram. It'd be great to do a collaboration with you guys sometime soon. But next up for me is the big West Hartree climb. My word, that's a tough climb. Along the top of the house now. It's starting to rain, but I'm not even complaining because it's cooling me down. Whew.
I've made it back into Cossington. I'm really sorry for the abrupt end to today's video, but my GoPro batteries died at the top of Shipham, so I couldn't show you the descent into Cheddar or coming through Wedmore, but I have made it. I'm absolutely knackered. It's a long day, over 135 Ks, nearly 1500 meters of climbing. I'll put the stats on the screen now, so I don't know exactly because the Garmin's playing up today. But thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please do give it a like. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please do consider subscribing. And if you haven't ridden the two tunnels by Bath, you've got to go and do it. They are epic, even the second time round, potentially even better than the first time. And do go to the Trek store in Bath. They've got some absolutely beautiful bikes in there. Hopefully in your size, definitely not in my size. But thank you again for watching, and we'll see you again soon.